Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another video. Kovac here, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I do get asked quite a bit, uh, what kind of add-ons do I use for pet battles and all that good jazz? So I figured I'd go in depth with uh, five add-ons I recommend for any new player slash veteran. Now keep in mind you will need Twitch in order to download these add-ons to WoW. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it now. Number one add-on that I recommend to everybody, absolutely everybody, probably the most important add-on that you can get as a pet battler is Rematch. Now essentially what Rematch does is take this crappy looking journal right here. This is probably what you'll see at first, but you simply just click this Rematch button right here and boom, looks all beautiful, all nice and organized. Good stuff. Now at first it will look like this. And just in order to get that down, you just drop it down like that. Now essentially rematch. It does so much stuff just besides uh, making your journal more uh, clean. So if I wanted, like for example, if I wanted to know a humanoid that's strong versus undeads, I could do that. Uh, there's a dandelion frolicker, for an example. Or maybe I want to know about a mechanical that's tough versus beast oh well I guess there isn't any of that but uh, let's see uh, humanoid tough versus I guess uh, let's see critters oh that basically lists all of them well you don't really use the tough versus you'd mainly use the, uh, the strong versus but you get what I mean or if you want to list all the humanoids you can do that if you want to list all humanoids and magic types you can also do that it's pretty nifty. Not only that, but Rematch houses all of your teams. You can create different tabs for them, just as I have here. Simply create create a new tab, pick your icon, and then name it. So pretty cool stuff. All of your essential stuff up here, as, such as your bandages, your revive, your safari hat, your pet treats, and then that uh, summon random paper pet. Overall, Rematch is definitely the highest uh, recommendation I can give you for an add-on for pet battles, and I highly recommend getting it. It is so damn good. All right, so next up, probably the second most important add-on that you can get is Pet Battle Breed ID, and essentially it does what it says. It lists all the possible breeds for a particular pet. A good example of this would be the Sporling Sprout, as it has all breeds available to it as you can see here. Now, uh, Pet Battle breed, breed ID can be a bit annoying at times, and what I mean by that is that whenever new pets are released, uh, as you can see here, it kind of bugs out, and obviously Froglet is an SS breed, but it's showing no, no breeds, no known breeds, even though Froglet and them have been out for the longest time now. And that's just ridiculous. It takes them forever to update their add-on. It's kind of stupid, actually. But, uh, yeah, it only usually does this with new pets. I'm assuming it might even do that with uh, the new pets coming in a new patch. So, but it, it's really great. It's really damn good. It uh, helps you get the right breed for the right, uh, well, no, I wouldn't say the right pet. The right breed for any pet, really. Now, some of them will have only one breed, and that's fine. But something like a Sporling Sprout, like I said, you obviously want the best breeds. And with all breeds available to them, you're not really going to be able to tell what the breed is until you max it out the max level and put a rare stone on it. So overall, really great add-on. I definitely recommend getting that as well. Next up we're going to have here is... I'm trying to pop my finger. <laughs> Could get that. But next up is going to be Pet Tracker. Now essentially Pet Tracker puts a paw print of all available pets for a particular zone. You don't see it here because I actually got it turned off because it got kind of annoying. But you can toggle it on and off from right here. As you can see, if I wanted to know where a Harpy Youngling is, it's right over there in, in the Barrens. And it's pretty good if you're out hunting pets. This will also label for non-wild pets as well. So just pretty good if you're ever wondering where a particular pet is on the map. Pretty straightforward right there. Alright, so next up we have uh, it is Pet Battle 
stats I believe that's what it's called and essentially what it does while you are in a uh, pet battle it labels the stats on the pets because I believe without it it doesn't it just shows like their health and all that stuff but it actually puts a percentage like say a, a pet has 1400 health obviously it's at a hundred percent as it keeps going down it's going to show the percentage and it'll also show their attack power and speed now uses that you can have with this for example I've mentioned this in the past is like a magic type they uh, can't take more than 35 percent of their health in one attack so this makes it very useful if you want to use like a nuking ability as long as they're below that 35 percent threshold it will kill them and with uh, the pet battle stats you'll be able to know what percentage they are at so pretty useful stuff uh, there's not very many scenarios that it will come in handy however but still a great add-on nonetheless alright so next up we have and another very important add-on is derangement pet battle cooldowns and this has been asked to me about from uh, viewers for quite a bit of time so let me go in depth with it so derangement pet cooldowns essentially when you're in battle it will label all possible abilities for all of your opponent's pets both in the middle here and up here the one that you want to pay attention to is going to be right up here where their abilities at because the one in the middle can bug out at times and not be correct now essentially whenever your opponent uses an ability on each pet tier it will keep track of what ability it was they used and if they have a long cooldown like say curse of doom it will show how many uh, rounds until they get it back so curse of doom you already know I believe wait is it four or five I kind of slipped my tongue I don't use curse of doom a whole lot but we'll just go ahead and look at it right here so yeah curse of doom five rounds so yeah, it'll put a 5 down, and then as the rounds go by, it'll go down until it gets to 1, and then it's back up. Pretty useful add-on, especially against new pets, whenever you don't know what abilities they have. And they're obviously new, so you don't know what to expect. Pretty great add-on right there. Now I will mention a bonus add-on, because that was 5 right there. This one isn't essential. But it's still pretty damn cool if you're interested. It is called Pet Battle Log Keeper. And the way you open this is type in slash PBLG. I mean K, not G. A keeper, not Geeper. <laughs> so essentially, what it does is label all of your. Oops, I accidentally closed it. Pet Battle Log Keeper. Alright, so essentially, what it does is list all the battles that you had. It shows the dates, the duration of them, how many rounds it took, uh, how did you win or lose, was it by forfeit, or did you just legit win? Uh, how do I move this out of the way? Oh, I don't know how to move that. Okay, there we go. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, that is a lot of battles right there. It shows all the pets that were used. And it's pretty useful. It'll show all if you click on them, it will show the abilities that you used. Not that good jazz. Pretty cool add-on. It's not essential, however, like I said. But if you want it just for this uh, pretty cool information, then hey, go right for it then. So uh, yeah, those are the add-ons I definitely recommend for people, and hopefully this will help some people out who. Uh, continue to ask uh, what add-ons do I use not that I don't mind answering them but it just gets asked a bunch so hopefully this will help you out uh, yeah so again you need twitch in order to get these add-ons uh, really hope they uh, help you out so with that being said this is Kovac and I will see you guys in the next one peace out